Got everything set up here to do a bag of pennies. Let's jump into it. Ooh, just give it a little snippy. All right, well, I'll bring you in on that first find. And we've got our first weedy. Now we've got ourselves a 1945 Denver. All right, we got one early. All right, let's keep on going. We did end up with a 52D. So we've got our second wheat scent of the bag. Um, only found one 2009 as well. Um, so this is quite a slow bag, but hopefully this bag starts to heat up a little bit because we have been slow for right now. Um, but hey, let's keep on going, see what we got. And the very next handful, I splashed it out and I saw this. So let's check it out. 46 Denver. All right, wheat scent number three. Let's keep on going. We are quite a ways through the box, or through the bag, I should say. Um, it's pretty light on just about anything. Um, I have found the first uh, foreign. Um, it looks like a 2001 Bahamas. So we do have a foreign. Um, we've still just got the three wheats. We have found several 2009s, but this is a slow bag. This is probably the slowest bag I've ever had, so... Um, but we're going to keep on hunting it and see if we can find anything. So I will bring you back in when I find something else. Finally, we've got our fourth wheat scent. It's a 1956 Denver. Man, <laughs> this bag is rough. But we'll keep on going. I'll bring you in on the next one. A few more handfuls in, and we wind up with our fifth wheat scent of the bag, which is a 1956 Philly. So fingers crossed, it's starting to heat up, but I guess we'll find out. So I'll bring you back in on the next find. All right, so we're back with another find and wheat six, wheat scent number six. Looks kind of old. So let's see what it is. Hey, look at that. We got a 1930 Philly. It's got a little bit of environmental damage on in there, but it's always good to find something from the 30s. So maybe the bag's starting to heat up. So I'll bring you back in on the next one. We did get our seventh wheat scent. Uh, looks like we got a 1956 Denver. Not too bad. Getting mostly 50s, but it's to be expected. So, all right, on to the next one. So, wheat scent number eight. Going to wind up being a 1956 Denver. So, fingers crossed we can hit double digits with this bag. That's what I'm hoping for. I'll bring you in on the next one. So, wheat scent number nine. It's going to give us a 1945D. So we've got just a few handfuls left. So fingers crossed we make that uh, double digit. So let's keep going. So I finished this bag and it was quite lackluster. Um, so I think what I'm going to do, I've got another bag that I picked up from the same bank on the same day. I did. I got these bags before Christmas. Um, so I figure there's probably not a lot of stuff in them. So I'm just going to go on ahead and add the second bag to this video and we're going to do a two bag penny hunt. Um, so let me go grab that bag, get everything set up and I'll be right back. So I've got everything set back up. We're going to have our second bag here and I've got everything kind of laid out, um, as a recap from that first bag. We did get nine wheat cents. Uh, 1930 was the oldest. Um, we wound up with three from the forties and then five from the fifties. Uh, we got the one foreign, which was the, uh, Commonwealth of the Bahamas penny there from 2001 um four 1959s and actually 17 2009s so um we'll see what we can do with this second bag i'm gonna cut this one open uh let's see if we can find some more wheats i'm wanting to get at least 20 so if we can get 11 out of this bag i'll be happy uh also looking for some more foreign some 1959s um and let's see if we can get 30 of these so let's see if we can wind up with 30 um of the 2009s and we'll go from there uh, all right well let me get this bag cut open and let's go all right so first handful um, of the second bag and it's not a wheat but i just wanted to pop on and show that we did find a 2009 philly um so that gives us 18 2009s so hopefully we can get uh, 30 of those and we can get 11 more wheat cents for a total of 20 um and let's try to get 10 1959s while we're at it so Let's see what can happen. All right, I'll bring you back in when I find something cool. We are a little ways through the bag. Still haven't found any wheat scents. Um, I have found some 2009s 
and a couple of 59s, but I wanted to bring in because I found this. Um, it's a 1968 San Francisco. It's not really that important, um, just aside from I need it to complete my book. So, one, well, not complete it, but I need it to uh, plug in in my book. So, I found an album filler, which I'm really excited about. Um, so, yeah, I just wanted to bring you in and show you that. So, let's keep on going. Let's see if we can't find some wheats in this thing. All right, so we are a little ways into the bag, and we finally found... A wheat scent um so so far we've got a 1950 philly and luckily enough in the same handful we have another one and i don't know what this one is i haven't flipped it over so let's check it out uh it looks like a 58 denver so i figure the majority of them are going to be in the 50s and that's okay i get that um, but that's two, that's two on the board in one handful, so I'm not mad about it. So let's keep on going and see what else we can find. I just grabbed a handful, but then I noticed this was sitting there. So let's check it out. 1939 Philly. Nice. So this is our third wheat from the bag. Um, and it's in the 30s. I'm not going to complain. So... Let's keep on going. Let's see if we can find some more. Reaching in, moving stuff around, and found number four. Um, hey, so maybe this bag's turning around. It's heating up. So we've got four wheat scents so far. This will be number 13 for the total of the two bag hunts. So let's see what our date is. 1925. Is that 25? That's a 1928. Excuse me. Um, okay, that's awesome. I think I need this for the book, actually. Um, so there we go. Fourth wheat scent of the bag is in the 20s, 1928 Philly. All right, maybe this bag is going to heat up on us and we'll get some good stuff. So let's keep on going. Peeking into the bag, I see a couple of things here. So let me go on ahead and grab this out. We have our first foreign of the bag and it is a 1973 Canadian. All right, so I'll check that against my Canadian book and see if it goes in there. And also, I happen to peek at our fifth wheat scent, which is a 1947D. So, all right, we got five wheat scents and a four and on the board. Um, so we're doing pretty good. I actually, and I wanted to let you guys know, I checked that uh, 1928 Philly. Did not need that for the book. Thought I did. Did not. Um, so... Still going to be uh, hunting for some book fillers, although we did find the 1968 San Francisco, which is fantastic, and I'll plug that in at the end of the video. So let's keep on going, see if we can't uh, find some more of those wheat scents. Wheat scent number six is going to come in the form of a very crusty 1944 Philly. Um, actually, is there a mint mark on that? There is not. It is a 1944 Philly. So we sent number six. All right, we're doing pretty good. We need five more to hit our goal. Oops. We need five more to hit our goal for the two boxes. Two bags. I'm sorry. I cannot talk today. All right, so let's keep on going. We're still working our way through the bag, and we are going to end up with a foreign. It's a Canadian, um, King George the Sixth. It's got some gunk on it. Let's see what we got here. 1952. All right. I uh, I may need this one for the book. Um, not 100% sure. If I could get this crap off of it, um, I may. If I need it for the book, I may try to do a little bit of cleaning on it. But, yeah. So, second foreign of the bag. 1952 Canadian with King George the Sixth. All right. I am not mad about it, so let's keep on going. So a couple things here. Um, I did find this pretty blazing 68S. Um, so that one's the one that's probably gonna go in the book. Man, that's a good looking coin. All right. Cool, cool, cool. I um, always like to find that. And we got ourselves another foreign. We got a 1980 Canadian. Um, I'll check this one against the book. Um, don't know if I need this one or not, but maybe. 
But uh, yeah, so third foreign is another Canadian, 1980. All right, let's keep on going. And what is that that I spy with my little eye? Why, it's wheat scent number seven. Um, So we've got a 1957 Denver. Not too bad. All right, so that's wheat scent number seven for the bag. Uh, we need four more. We need four more wheats to get our 20 for the two bags. So let's keep on going. Let's see if we can't get four more out of this thing. Wheat scent number eight almost got pitched back into circulation because I could not see it. Um, I just happened to flip it over and give it a gander, and there we go. It looks like it's a 1945. I can't tell 100%. I do see a 194 something. I'm thinking 1945. Don't know if there's a mint mark, but we'll take it. Um, this one, I'm not going to make it in the book. No upgrade, obviously, but it will go into a roll. So there we go. So let's keep on going. Let's see if we can beat that uh, magic number 20. So our first miscellaneous find is going to be a dime. Looks like it's a 2013 Denver. Um, it's a little bit off struck, but nothing crazy. Just going to throw that right back into circulation. So, um, yep. 2013 Denver. There it goes. All right, let's keep going. Wheat scent number nine is going to be in the next handful. Um, it is a 1945 Philly. Nothing special, super common. But hey, it's number nine. Let's keep on going. Um, this bag is obviously better than the first one. But we do still have a few more coins to find before we hit those goals. So um, we're close to the uh, wheat scent goal. Um, we're getting fairly close, I believe, to, to the 2009 goal. And the 59s have seemed to have dried up. We found a couple of them, but I don't know if we're going to hit that goal. But we will see. We've still got part of a bag left. So let's keep on going and figure it out. Okay, so I'm just chucking along here, um, going through pennies like you do. And I had these spread out in my hand, and I yelled some expletives. <laughs> um, so good thing I wasn't filming because I do want this to be a family channel. But that being said, um, so we have an, um, we have got an Indian head. I've never found an Indian head penny coin roll hunting. So this is my first one. So I am incredibly happy. Um, you know, there's no mint mark or anything. I didn't expect there to be, but this is probably an earlier, uh, or, uh, excuse me. It's probably a later coin. I'm kind of, I'm kind of nervous, kind of excited. I've never found one. So. Let's flip it over and see what it is. 1908. You know, it's not the oldest, but we got an Indian head. Man. All right. Well, that uh, <laughs> that really made this bag for me. I don't care if we hit any of those goals that I've set. Um, found my first Indian, so I am, I'm ecstatic. So, all right. Well, let's keep on going, see if we can find some wheats or another Indian. Who knows what's in this bag? Let's keep going. And we've done it. We've hit the double digits. So let's see what wheat scent number 10 is going to give us. It'll be a 1957 Denver. All right. So that's number 10 for the bag, and we had nine previous bags. So that's 19 um, total for the hunt. So we need one more wheat, and uh, we'll hit our goal. So let's keep on going. Let's see what we can find. And here we go. Number 20 for the hunt, which would make number 11 for this bag, is a 1946 Denver. Crusty Musty. But hey, we did it. We hit that goal. So, uh, I mean, we've still got quite a bit of the bag left. So let's keep going. Let's see how many weeks we can do. Let's just, let's jump that goal up 25. Let's be, uh, let's be a little bit crazy. <laughs> so let's, uh, let's see if we can get five more at least uh, by the end of this bag. So wheat scent number 12 is going to be a 1944 Philly. That's a pretty good looking coin right there. I don't think it'll upgrade what I've got, but it's a solid strike and it looks pretty good. So, all right, we'll put that over there. We'll keep on going. If we get four more, that'll hit our 25 uh, goal for the two bags. So let's keep on hunting. So this second bag is gonna give us our fourth Canadian. And um, it looks like it is a 1974. So that is a pretty good looking coin. I've got this in my book already. I checked before I filmed here and that one will upgrade. So that'll work. So let's keep on going. Let's see if we can't find something else. We're getting pretty low. We're getting close to the end of the bag, but if I find something, I'll bring you in and show All right. you. And the next handful 
is going to give us our 13th wheat scent for the bag. Um, it looks pretty new, so let's give it a look. Uh, yeah, so it's a 55 Denver. All right, that's number 13. So let's keep on going. We are coming incredibly close to the end of this second bag. And I just happened to get wheat scent number 14, which is a 1949D. Um, now we need two more to hit that uh, 25 wheat scent goal for the two bags. So we will see if um, we can grab us two more. Um, yeah, I'll bring you in on the next find. Still chugging along. Um, and this handful is gonna have a couple of finds it looks like. Um, we are going to have wheat scent number 15. Um, looks like it's probably a newer one. So, uh, oh, look at that. 1937 Philly. All right. It's another one from the 30s. I will take that. And then here we go. We've got another 2009 uh, Denver. Lincoln. What's he doing? Splitting rails. Is that what they call this one? I don't know. I don't remember exactly what they call this one, but this is the one that you can search for the uh, the extra finger there um, on the book. So I will be doing that as well. So, all right. So one more wheat scent, and then we'll hit our goal of 25. So let's see if we can get one more wheat scent out of this bag. So we did it. Wheat scent number 16. Wheat scent number 25 of this two bag hunt. So glad we made it. It's right here. And it is old. Um, it looks old anyway. So let's see what we got. A 1911D? Is that what that says? Hang on a second. I think we've got a 1918D. Um... Still a teen's wheat scent with a uh, mint mark. Um, it's not the 1911, I don't think. Of course, that could be a 1910, but I'm I'm leaning towards a 1918. And I do believe that is a mint mark down there. So I think I'm going to call this a 1918 Denver. Um, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to call it. All right, well, let's keep on going, and I'll bring you in if I find some. So we are done with the second bag. Um, that was uh, significantly better than the first. I'm not going to lie. Um, I'm, I'm very pleased with that bag, even though it was, it was still a little bit skimpy on the, uh, the wheats because we did only get, uh, what did we get? 15 of them, 16 of them. So, um, I, actually that's not bad. Um, that's about, that's about average what I would get for a bag, I suppose. Um, so yeah, that's not too bad, but, uh, but anyway, I've got a few that I'm going to scope real quick and, um, just make sure I don't have any more uh, finds. And uh, if I find something worth telling you about, I'll bring you back in. If not, um, you'll see the wrap up. Okay, so I found something interesting I want uh, you guys to take a look at. So all of these right here are 1969Ds. Um, the reason this one's over here is because it's a little bit different than the others. So let me just grab one of these and I will throw it up under the scope here. So that's what it looks like, 1969D. You see how the D is really close to the date? Um, yeah, so this one here is not. Um, now, I haven't really done any, uh, you know, Googling or any kind of research showing uh, anything like that, but... I mean, all the other ones, I mean, they're, the mint mark's close to the date. So I just, uh, I don't know why that one's so far away. I don't know if that's some sort of an error um, that I just haven't found, that I haven't looked into. Um, so yeah, let me know, you know, down in the comments below if you know what the, what's going on with that. I mean, it could just be something super common that happens, but I'm not 100% sure. So, okay, well, let me get a few more things up under the scope. And if I find anything worth uh, showing you, I'll show you. If not, I will wrap this bad boy up. So we are done with the two-bag penny hunt. And, you know, considering the slow start we got on the first bag, we didn't do too bad. Um, so let's start over here. We did get five foreigns. Um, we got the one Commonwealth of the Bahamas, and then we got four Canadians, which three of these are going to go in the book. So I'm excited about that. 
Um, and probably the find of the bag for me is this uh, 1908 Indian. I'm really, really excited about that. I've already got one in my book, um, but that's the first one that I've actually ever found coin roll hunting. So I'm super excited about that. Um, and as for uh, some more spot fillers, I did end up with a few blazers that I'm going to include in the book. I wound up with three um, almost uncirculated 1962s, so um, pretty cool with that. Um, and I also grabbed this, and I think this is a lamination error. Um, obviously, there's damage on it, and it's well circulated, um, so it's not worth a lot, but it's cool regardless. Um, that is, I think, the first lamination error that I've ever found. Um, so we tried to get 10 uh, 1959s. We did not hit that goal. We only got eight, um, you know, which isn't too bad. Um, we wanted to get 30 of the 2009s, and we ended up with 31. So we did hit that goal, and this one right here is going to upgrade my book. So I do get an upgrade on that. And as for the wheats, um, we did end up with 25 on the nose, um, like I wanted. So we got uh, 10 50s, 10 40s. We got three in the 30s. Um, we've got one 1928. And then this one, which I'm going to say it's a 1918 Denver. Um, that's what it looks like to me. Um, you know, if you guys... Uh, if you guys see something different, let me know in the comments, but I'm thinking it's a 1918D. And oddly enough, um, I do have a 1918D in my book, but it's corroded real bad. And <laughs> as terrible as this one looks, it is going to be an upgrade. So um, let me clear all this off. Let me get the books out. I'll show you the books, the upgrades, what we're plugging in, and we'll wrap this thing up. We can start with the Canadian book here. So we are going to plug in the 52 the 73 and then the 74 actually upgrades the one I have in the book. Um, so we got two spot fillers and one upgrade for our first volume of the Canadian Sense. So I'm super stoked about that. Um, so yeah, let's jump into the, uh, the Wheat Sense real quick. So as you can see, the 1918D does upgrade what we've got in the book because the one I had was really, really corroded. Um, so I am excited to get that. Um, and as for the rest of this book, um, it's kind of coming along, but you know, with it being the first book of the, uh, Lincoln Sense, um, it is the hardest one to fill. Um, but you know, we're doing it. So, all right, let me get this one plugged in and I'll grab one of the others. For the 41 to 74, um, we did plug in the 68 San Francisco there and it does look pretty good. And we need three more for this book. Um, we need the 41 San Francisco, 47 San Francisco, and the 55 San Francisco. Um, have not found those as of yet, but, you know, we will keep on looking. Um, so let me grab this book, and I will show you all the upgrades. Hold your horses, because I forgot. Um, <laughs> I did have a few upgrades in this book before we move over to the 75 through 2013, so... Um, I've got a better 62, I've got a better 63, and a 64D, I've got a better 65, and a better 70D, and a 70S. So let me get these switched out, and then I will show you the upgrades in that book. So we ended up with four upgrades in this book. We are upgrading the 75D, the 77, the 78D, and then the 2009 Denver Presidential Years. Um, so let me get these plugged in and I will let you know how I feel about everything. After looking at everything, I think I'm gonna use that 1908 to update my book. I'm gonna upgrade this 1908 because it does have some damage on it and this is a little bit more clear. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. So let me throw that in there real quick. That about wraps up our uh, two bag penny hunt here. Like I said, it did start off very, very slow, but I am very beyond happy with how it ended. So. Um, you know, if you guys have been enjoying this, please, um, and if you're not subscribed, go on ahead and hit that subscribe button because I do plan on doing these on a more regular basis when I'm able to. Um, and don't forget to like this video if you did enjoy it. 
and ring that bell so you can be notified whenever I get around to doing something. So, you know, with that being said, guys, I really, really appreciate it. Um, I recently broke 100 subscribers. I think I'm setting at like 107 right now. So I really appreciate um, each and every one of you. I really, really do. So um, thank you guys so, so much. And um, I appreciate you guys being here and sticking through this thing with me and checking out my videos. So with that being said, I hope you guys have a fantastic day and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.